Hey Libra, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. I'm getting a couple of scenarios in a channeled message and I can't even think about what I was trying to do next <laughs> to get ready today. So I obviously have to sit down and do this message. Um, first thing I was getting was receiving mail that's not your own and writing return to sender on it and you know, wrong address. I don't know if somebody actually lived with you or if um, they were just using your address as a mailing address. Some of you guys could also be receiving your neighbor's mail or packages. So double check the, um, the name and address on your stuff before you go opening it. That is a federal offense here in the States. Be very careful with that. I was also getting a situation where someone is trying to reach you. But yeah, see, and this is where the throat chakra... <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> you don't want to clear your throat and have a conversation with this individual, but someone is wanting to have a conversation with you. The thing is, though, you've moved. Um, You've moved and your phone number is not the same. Your address is not the same. You're not using the same Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You get the, the point, right? So um, this could even be as crazy as somebody trying to send you an email, but your Gmail is logged in under a different one or <clears throat> where they go in the spam. Boom. Right. Like someone's trying to reach you, but they can't because you've moved is what I was getting. There was one other message I was getting in regards to this. Oh, yeah. And this one, this one's a huge red flag for me about people that we should not be interacting with. Don't you stop now. <laughs> now I'm getting to the good part. If you have somebody visit, or you're giving somebody a ride or anything like that, and then you feel like you want to go ahead and clean out your car all of a sudden, or you feel like, you know, I've been wanting to kind of see what the room feels like if I switch these two items, and then you switch those items. Like, you're going to notice yourself wanting to do something different with your space. That's because somebody come in to see what you were up to. They're going to leave with that information and you're immediately feeling like I need to change the situation. I need this to not look like whatever that that saw they saw they have an attachment and it's it's not a watcher. It's the other one. It's the. Um, what are they called? There's a there's a term I'm trying to give you the term so you can look it up if you don't know it. Um, what's the term, please? Not sleeper cells. That's something that we, that's our own jargon. What's the actual term, though? We spoke about it. They'll remind me. It's okay. Let's get some cards on all of this. There's a lot there, I understand, but um, we're hearing the call. Oof. Heating the warning. So we can stay clean, healed, and ready to go, right? Somebody might not even realize that they have this attachment. Somebody might not even realize that they have, um, well, come on, what's it called? Four of Wands, yeah. Matters of the home. This person was at your home or something with their name on it is trying to come into your home. It needs to not. It needs to not penetrate your threshold. What are the watchers called? Oh my gosh, this is going to drive me nuts. I just said it in a previous reading too. That's why I'm so uh, irritated with myself here for not being able to. This is the Naked Heart Tarot and I'm going to do. Mm, I'm not. I'm not going to do a Celtic cross today. We're just going to do a free-for-all. We're going to let the cards come out how they come out. They're little spies. Right? Sending their little spies out to go collect information and give it to somebody that doesn't need it or just isn't going to do any good by it. Lovers. Yeah, you've made a choice, a pact with self, higher self, spirit, the home. 
maybe you're actually speaking to your home because um, your house is a spirit just like the soil has a spirit just like <clears throat> anyways um this is part of you keeping that promise this is part of you doing what you need to do physically so that your spirit team can come in and do what they need to do spiritually right <clears throat> also the wings you've earned your wings you may have actually physically felt that a little bit um, or seen them in a dream vision anyways you've earned your wings and I feel like yeah you've reached new levels I do find it interesting that it's the bald eagle because here in the states that's obviously a protected animal you can't even I don't know if you can even feed these things out in the wild. Freedom. I just heard there's a lot of sovereign states that have freedom. <laughs> yeah, there are. There are. A couple hundred, if I'm not wrong. Um... The universe. So that's the world, the Queen of Cups, and Strength Wall. Heavy on the Leo here. Yeah, you've really closed the door on something. You've really wrapped up a cycle. You've really... When you set your intention that nothing negative shall pass, right? You shall not pass, Gandalf. You said it with your whole chest, your whole soul, your whole everything. It's literally an impenetrable shell that you've created, like, with your whole everything. It was very powerful. Very, very powerful. Now, only you can vocalize, yeah, come on in. You got to pay attention. They they really do put it right in your face, these, uh, what is it, vampires? can only come in if you invite them in type shit there really are negative things that can't come in unless you invite them in if you put a welcome mat in your front door that don't do that don't fucking do that i want you to get a different mat not one that says welcome because not everybody's fucking welcome and i want you to draw some protective runes on the bottom of that fucker okay i am not playing with you do the salt, do the corn cornstarch at your front door. Fuck the salt. Do the cornstarch at your front door. They won't even be able to find their keys to make it over to your house, okay? Even if you think it's somebody that should be but doesn't and you don't have a moon bracelet on your right wrist. You feel me? Like, I got tips for fucking days when it comes to protection. Um, tower, yeah, you're protecting yourself from a tower here. Somebody's energy is... Or there's an attachment that is chaotic. Chaos energy. Ooh, do you know the chaos symbol? Make sure you don't have the chaos symbol on anything. It's actually very simple. It's a plus sign and then an X over top of it, right? And all the, um, the ends have an arrow. That's it. A plus and an X with arrows at all the tips. That's the chaos symbol right there. Make sure you don't have that on anything because what the fuck? I'm talking about runes here. Six of Cups reverse. These cards are not upside down. Yeah, this shit's not innocent. Somebody might actually mean a little bit of foul play here. Ooh, what? Wait a minute. This is someone from your past. Their energy is trying to come back in. They're not innocent. Somebody's coming back looking for revenge. Plotting a downfall. Yeah, okay. Um, downfall of us all. <laughs> Data remember, seriously. Libra. <laughs> snorted ten of swords <clears throat> yeah this person is coming in for betrayal oh my god i was seeing the ten of swords last night 
I was seeing the Ten of Swords last night as I was drifting off. <gasps> Don't worry, I had a really good dream. I had a visit. And it was wild. Oh, it was wild. You know how in a dream you're not supposed to say out loud that you know you're in a dream? Well, I had somebody come visit me. Someone that means so much. And I said, ooh, I almost lost you there for a second. And she said, why is that? And I said, I almost reminded myself that. And then I stopped and she said, this is a dream. And I was like, yeah. But I've practiced. I've trained for this. And we got to visit after that. What? What? So I stopped and didn't say it out loud because that's a huge, you don't say you're in a dream when you're in a dream. And then she said it. She told me. I was like, oh, my God. And it didn't pull me out. What? What? That was crazy. Anyways, Ten of Swords. Oh, see, that's what it is. You're not giving in to the energy. You're not giving fear. You're not giving anxious. You're not giving any of that. Any of that. Oh, the world card, the heart, the heart, the strength. Duh, duh. Somebody's name is getting brought up and you are not having a physical or emotional reaction to it. You're like, wait. Did you just say so-and-so? You're like, yeah, yeah. You're like, God, I haven't heard that name in so long. Anyways, if you even give it that much acknowledgement, I... Yeah. Sorry, Palo Santo went out, so I'm just trying to get that going again. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. You're being protected from some sort of sabotage. <laughs> now I'm hearing Guitar Hero 3. Sabotage! Boop, 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 boop. You guys have an interesting playlist. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's creep up. Two of Pentacles. What's this about? I'm not reading all of that. <laughs> not enough coffee in this house to convince me to read all of that. Ace of Swords. Three of Pentacles with the Queen. Wow, you've really mastered your self-worth, your value. You know who you are, what you deserve. This shit is topsy-turvy. It's, it's Weebles Wobble, and they probably do fall down uh, a couple of times. These ones are broken. There's something about broken. Um, you know what the broken really is, though? The broken is that this energy, if you indulge in any kind of way, um, it's going to break you from your path. It's going to break you from all the things you've been working hard on. And I feel like this isn't just a fad for you, right? This isn't just a phase for you. This is your life. This is personal. This is, yeah, you live and breathe this day in and day out. Like everything is spiritual to you. Everything is sacred to you. You hold value in many things. I do feel like you're one of the people here, um, where it's about the small things so that the big things can be recognized for how big they really are. Um, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. I kind of want to, maybe I'll just put these back in there. Movement of cups and nine of cups. Yeah, this person is coming in, promises, promises, but there's three party situation. And that doesn't always mean this person's going to cheat on you or try to cheat you out of something. Um, it just means that other things, once again, are more important than you. This is somebody that says, I want to be there. Let me prove it to you. And then they show up 50% of the time they say they're going to show up. Half in, half out. This would be like if you're dealing with a really not healed cancer. It's that half in, half out. And that's dangerous. That is dangerous. I wouldn't. Mm -mm. Ace of Wands. 
Ten of Cups, the Chariot. You've moved on. Even if this was sexual, yes, Eight of Oh, I can't make it up. Eight of Cups, Two of Swords. You made the ultimate decision to move on, and you're not trying to go back. You're not. I know that the Eight of Cups means that there's a potential for coming back, but you're not the one potentially coming back because you're over here with the World card. The World card and the Death card are the game over, no more lives. I don't want one more life. Even if I have it, I'm not going to use it. I'm unplugging the game, maybe even the system, and I'm taking my happy ass outside and finding something else to do. Like... High priest, high priestess, I can't make it up. You understand that dealing with this person is going to sting you. It, they're dangerous. You can't trust them. There's too much, yeah, there's too much unknown, man. There's too much unknown. You know you're playing with fire. Like, mm, this is somebody that when you say, all right, prove it then. Instead of getting excited for that opportunity, they get immediately, like, weird. And it's like, you said that you wanted the opportunity, and now I'm telling you, go ahead and prove it. And you're getting all defensive. You're getting all mean. You're getting all nasty. You're getting all wound up. You're, get, you're fucking weird, bro. You're fucking weird. Something's not right. You know what I mean? Anyway. What else do we have for Libra in regards to this, um... I guess return to sender. I mean, it's not my favorite type of energy, but there's something with their name or it's them physically that's trying to penetrate your threshold. Don't let it happen. This person has... What the fuck are they called? I'm getting irritated now. What are they called? They're not seekers. What the fuck? This isn't Harry Potter. I'm not talking about a snitch. <gasps> I am talking about a snitch. That's not what they're called. But that's a term that works. The snitch. Some of you don't know this person's a snitch. And talking to... Oh no, somebody's leaking your information. When the fuck did that happen? I did not see that. Someone's leaking your information to an excommunicano. Das ist nicht gut. Das is neat. Oh my god. Oh no. No. Now we know. Damn it. Oh, an informant. <laughs> what is it actually called? This is going to drive me nuts. I know somebody already put it in the comments, but. This person is a snitch. Why does that kind of look like the snitch? Maybe somebody's into Harry Potter. This person is leaking information. We got a Malfoy. We got a Lucius. We got a snitch. At least you're traveling the right path here. From the Ten of Swords to the Knight of Swords comes the Queen and the King. I almost wonder if somebody became a monster and now they're claiming that you're a monster and they're scared of you. You're not the monster. They became a monster. You became your own hero and had to save your own ass because this person was dangerous. Um, they're the monster. But it's crazy how they're trying to make you out to, you know, it's like they're trying to flip the script. Oof, duh. So they send in their little spies. thought we got rid of all the people that we needed to get rid of. Looks like we have a straggler, you guys. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, Trouble in Paradise. That happy home ain't really a happy home. 
there's a nightmare within this legacy that we're trying to build, this happily ever after we're trying to access. Somebody's here to bring problems, not solutions. There's the King of Cups. So from the Queen to the King. The Ace of Cups. Okay, so you're doing this with love. Because you cared about this person deeply. This is someone you wanted to see them do better. Yeah, I'm going to need you to do better. I feel like you said that to this person. I'm going to need you to do better. Temperance. Yeah, this person, when you cut them off, they had to go and lick their wounds. You're still licking them. You know how after a fight, some people can brush it off, like they got it out of their system type shit, and they can be real mature about, that was really dumb, and blah, blah, blah. But then there are some people that after a fight are still so revved up, and they didn't, like, I feel like this person's still very revved up, and you were the first scenario, right? Temperance, Eight of Swords, Innocence of Wands. See, you don't know who the informant is right now, but you've got a feeling that something ain't right. Hopefully what I said earlier about when someone leaves your home and you feel like you need to clean your home, you need to rebalance something some way, somehow, maybe this room will flow better if I do that. You know, it's one thing if you're in contact with somebody that's very, very high vibrational or if you guys were talking about really powerful stuff and that's what access this new level and you want to switch things around. That's one thing. But when somebody just comes and visits and you guys are having a mundane conversation, nothing crazy happened, but you do feel like you need to move some things around or your plants are dying, your fish are dying. It always starts with the small and it gets bigger. Be careful of that. If you got cornstarch. Pour it on, um, around your doors. <clears throat> no, a line of cornstarch at your doors. There we go. Um, and somebody can't find their keys or something came up and they can't, they got to cancel with you. Um, that's fishy. It's very fishy. Could be dealing with a Pisces. I doubt it. Unless they're just not healed. I mean, anybody not healed is a threat. I should say not healed and not interested in healing because we are all still healing. I never said I was healed. <laughs> I'm still healing too. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is the mail you're receiving or the package you're receiving that's not yours. Return to sender. These are the items you're moving after somebody leaves. Proceed with caution, you know. Innocence of Swords, Three of Cups. There really is somebody that's leaking your information here. I don't know why the term's not coming to me. Maybe that's the frustration. You just, the term's not coming to me. You can't pinpoint who this is. And like, I understand your frustration because for what, 20 something minutes now you guys have been watching me try to I'm pretty sure it's two words I just it's not fucking coming to me I really thought it would but I don't know I'm curious which deck I should pull from I don't even know which deck I should pull from. Maybe this one. This one's really good. Oh, you know what? That one too. There we go. Figured it out. They were hiding behind the phone. They're hiding. This motherfucker is hiding in plain sight. I want to say it's someone you keep giving second chances to. Yeah, you need to put the computer away. Stop working on this. There's something that's, you've constantly worked on it. It's had its 
honeymoon periods, but mm, it always ends up in the same sabotage, the same betrayal, the same... Yeah, it's always temporary. Look at that. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. Time apart. Some distance will bring clarity. See, and that's where the Queen and King of Swords come into play. They didn't come out yet. But um, that's where they come into play is getting that higher perspective and seeing shit for what it really, really is. Accepting the hard truths of that person, of yourself, of all of it, and some cold, hard facts, right? True love. See, what you have for yourself is unconditional love. This person's love is definitely conditional. I almost wonder, no, I know because I've been here. Um, if you don't do what they think you should do, they either get offended worried for you they get really triggered by that that's not healthy i'm not proud of you anymore we were so proud of you and now look at what you're doing what i'm doing what i feel is best for me to do just because it's not what you think is best for me doesn't mean that it If this was like a parent, they wanted you to do all the sports and extracurriculars that they did. Didn't really let you do the sports that you wanted to do. It's like they were more interested in having a mini me than actually having a connection with you and letting you guys be yourselves and, and enjoy the compatibility. Instead, it was almost like this constant competition. My heart goes out to the, the kids that had to feel like they competed with their parents. That shit's not fucking right, man. That's not right. What do we have here? Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy. Exactly. You see, and that's what you are connecting with. That's where you're truly at. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I think you're teaching them one too. I think this really, really goes both ways. Okay. For some of you, this is showing up simply so you can see what you've outgrown. Touch and go. Take a peek. Moving on. Regret. They do regret it. I bet they do. I bet they do. That's why they're coming in for another chance. This person... Their integrity, this informant, this snitch, this, I suppose he who, or she, who shall not be named, because I can't think of what they're called. I just did a reading about these things. I think at this point, <laughs> at this point, it doesn't matter what it's called. We see it for what it is. The term doesn't have to come for you, come to you for all of this to make sense. I've been very clear on what this is the whole time. Even though the term doesn't want to come to me, that's fine. I still know what you are. And that won't change. You can run, you can hide. I'm gonna find you and make you want me. Oh, sorry. This is the soul truth. Oracles. Am I in my head or in my heart? What is the what is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about 
being the creator of our own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracle happens. Today's soul action. This card has one of those. Today, master your mind. Watch an inspiring video. Do some tapping. Read an empowering book. Or write all write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. It's because I said too many times that it's not coming to me, that it's not coming to me. And I do regret saying that. See, I can call my shots. What's the problem? We're not supposed to be perfect. I expect that out of myself, but even I hold myself accountable when I need to. What's the problem? What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? That sounds like it has something to do with this. <laughs> to create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings and believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. This one also has a soul action and it has a mantra. The soul action. When we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop, do things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate towards others without taking them without taking on their stuff. There it is right there. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. Sometimes you're just supposed to see how much you've worked on yourself. Today's mantra I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave it there. I'll leave it right there. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. Um, this could be any sign, and we can take on different signs at different times. We have plenty of birth charts. If you don't recognize as all the signs at this point, um, you will. But we do have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Interesting. I didn't even notice that. Um... Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, all the fixed signs, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo, Weird. Gemini, and that's it. I'm going to leave it right here. Oh, Capricorn, because we saw the Queen of Pentacles. Amy's, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay so beautiful and stay diligent.